Remote C++ development on Linux using NetBeans IDE on Windows. We're going to set up NetBeans for C++ development. And open the services window and add a new build host. Create a sample project, run it and view the output. Tools plugins. Available plugins. C++ plugin install next accept install restart IDE now so I should now be able to create a C++ program in NetBeans IDE this is great but now what I want to do is I don't want to build the C++ environment on my local Windows machine. I want to build it remotely and debug it remotely and execute it remotely. So to do that, I go to Window, Services, C++ Build Hosts. See it's got my local host, which I don't really want. I want to add a new host. This is going to be a remote server. Seanmozier.com. Login root. Yes. Okay, it's found the GNU compiler, which is good. Finish. Now I have a connection to my remote server, which is somewhere else in the world. Now I want to create a new C++ project. I'm going to create a sample. It's just going to be welcome. It's just going to be a very simple one. Next. Okay, welcome one. Project location. Project folder. Build host. Root at seanwithc.com, which is an external Linux server. Default GNU. Finish. And now for the setting up how it should look on the remote host and just press finish okay so this is the local version and this is the remote version if I open up the source file now or the remote version that's the source code as it exists on the server. So I'm just going to change some of this text because I can. And I'm just going to change it. This helps me to verify the output. So I've just saved that. Now I compile it. Preparing to build on the external Linux server. You can see the commands that it makes. Build successful. It's excellent. Now let's just play it. Let's see what it does. And that's the output, and that has been executed on my remote Linux server. Built, executed on an external server using NetBeans IDE. I'm very excited.